Welcome to the episode number 3 of how to edit faster and work more efficiently in Premiere Pro. Coming up. Hi everyone, I am Harshwardhan. Welcome to HarshwardhanArt.com. This is the episode number 3 of Premiere Pro Tips and Tricks where I give you some tips using which you can edit faster and save lot more time and you can be more efficient by editing in Premiere Pro. So if you have not checked out the previous episode which are already out there, the link of that is in the description section below and as well as on the i button if you are on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe this channel for more tips and tricks and for more upcoming videos where I will give you more tips to edit faster and be more efficient while editing in Premiere Pro. And before we go any further, please hit the like button. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing and please follow me on Facebook and Instagram. My all the social media links are in the description section below and as well as on your screen right now. So without further ado, let's get started. Do you want to download unlimited videos, audios, sound effects, graphic templates, fonts, photos, WordPress items and 3D models and much more with just one subscription? Then Envato Elements is a one-stop shop for all your creative assets needs. If you are a content creator or YouTuber or online instructor, then you are in constantly need of videos, audios, fonts, photos, presentation templates, graphic templates, 3D models, etc. And it's not feasible to pay each time you use certain videos, fonts, photos or other sound effects or audios for your particular project because that becomes very costly and not affordable. What if you could just download unlimited videos, audios, presentation templates, graphic templates, fonts, photos, WordPress items, 3D models and much more with just one subscription. And then you must get the Envato Element subscription because this is the only subscription at this moment on the market which gives you everything. It has 54 plus million assets at this time and more and more are being added every day. And all the Envato Elements items you can download they are covered with the commercial lifetime license so once you download them and you can use it forever and the subscription is very very affordable as you can see that the individual plan starts at 16.50 dollar per month and if you don't want to just buy the subscription get the free plan and with free plans you will get 12 free files every month isn't that great so if that's what you want go ahead and check out the Envato elements the link of this is in the description section below when you launch the Premiere Pro, you will see this kind of an interface. This is basically the workspace. This is called the workspace. So workspace is basically how the things, different panels, different tools are organized within this window in the Premiere Pro. So this is called the workspace. So there are some presets available for the workspace in Premiere Pro. If you just go to the windows, so if you go to the windows, and select the workspaces over here you will see some workspaces number one is all panels second is assembly third is audio then color demo editing and these are some of the workspaces which i have created then you have the effects graphics learning and library so let me show you how different workspace looks so if you select all the all panels you will see this would look something like this where each and every panel is available right on your screen. So you can see this is the project, this is project name and over here effects control, metric colors, audio clips and over here info and over here you will see the timeline and some effects which are over here. You can see essential graphics are over here, essential sounds are over here. So if you change it to something like assembly. So assembly is basically where you assemble different clips together in a particular project. So over here you will see this uh, panel is little bit bigger. 
so here you will see your projects and your sequence all the files over here it's the uh, timeline and over here these are the audio files and this is the preview panel and if you go to the different workspace that is for the audio so if you are working on the editing at the time when you are editing the audios or enhancing the audio this workspace is useful then if we go back to the colors so over here this is helpful for color grading or color correction so over here you will see this lumetri panel right over here so if i select any clip i can adjust its temperature tint etc all right so i can do that from here all right and then we have the workspace for the demo and editing so it's for the editing so it looks like this so basically there are different workspaces and you can use them for different tasks but basically this is not the efficient way of working in the premiere pro because each and every time uh, you have to switch to the different workspace so you have to uh, if you are assembling uh, initially uh, your clips in a project then you go for the assembly workspace and when you are editing the audio you will switch to the audio panel and then you will switch to the color for color grading or color correction then for effects and then for graphics so each time you have to just switch it to the different panel and that takes lots of time so what i have done i have basically arranged all of these panels into a one workspace using which i can just work on any task and that works very well and that saves a lot more time for me so i have created this workspace this is editing and i have just arranged you can see i want my timeline to be bigger so that i can see through the entire project and diagram so this is a very big okay timeline so i can adjust it and over here you can see on the uh, right hand side top over here i have the essential graphics and then i have the lumetri colors and then i have the essential sound so if i have to edit to the uh, audio or work on the audio i can just do this from here and over here this is the preview panel and this is the effects control here we have the lumetri scopes if i am just doing the color grading then i can just switch this panel and audio track mixer so if i am working on the audios i can just adjust all these levels and everything from here and then over here i have the fix all right and i have the media browser so you have, I have to browse some files from my pc i can do that right from here so this is the project so this is the project panel where all my files images videos clips sounds and music are here and this is another project or another bin and this is another one all right so i have arranged all these panels in a way so that i can just work efficiently from one panel itself i can perform all the task and each task can be performed very efficiently so if you like this panel what you can do you can just arrange all of these into this so just go to the windows select workspace and select the editing workspace and this is the default editing workspace and what i have done you can see uh, this is the project panel so i'll just click and drop it over here so here comes my project and i will just drag and the project name over here and then media browser i'll just drop it over here and then effects i'll just drop it over there and i don't need need libraries so i'll just close the panel i don't need need info i'll just close the panel i don't need markers close the panel i don't need history i'll close the panel so now you can see my timeline is now very bigger over here i have the effects control audio clip mixer but i don't need audio clip mixer so i'll just close this panel and i'll go to the windows and workspace oh sorry windows and then i will select audio track mixer because that's very important i work with the with this one i can control my audio levels with the help of this one i don't need metadata so i'll just close this panel and then i'll go to the windows and i will select the lumetri scopes so that way the lumetri scopes would be available for me over here okay and this is the preview panel and if i'll go to the windows and 
I will select the source monitor. So source monitor is right over here. So if I have some clips and I want to see that how this is going to work like this. So I'll just double click it. I can select the clip view. I can make an in and out point and I can drag it over here. All right. And this is the preview panel. And then I go back to the windows and then I would select the essential graphics so that way the essential graphics would be available over here then again I'll go to the windows and select lumetri colors so lumetri colors panel would be available over here and then windows and the essential sounds I'll click on this one as well and that way the essential sound would be available for me right over here all right so now I can work with the elementary colors I have the graphics and I have the essential sounds so this is basically my customized workspace so I can perform any task with the help of this workspace and that can save me a lot more time so what I have done thereafter you can just go to the windows workspace and you can come over here and select it save as a new workspace and you can just rename it this workspace you want so let me just make it all in one best and I can write my name okay and I will press okay. so by doing this this workspace is now saved so I can go to the windows and I have this workspace right over here all in one best all right so at this moment this one is selected so that's why this is highlighted if I suppose select something else like audio panel so this switch to the audio panels and if I go back to the my original space so I can go to the workspace and select the all in one best not sure then and suppose somehow if I accidentally just mess it up like suppose I click and drag this over here and click and drag this right over here all right and drag it over here and drag this one over here so as you can see i have somehow messed up this workspace but what if i just want to revert it back to my original state where i saved it so that's very easy and simple just go to the windows and select workspaces and if you come on the bottom you will see reset to the saved layout so if you just click on this this is going to reset it to the original position where you have saved it all right so this is how you can customize the workspace in your own liking if you like this workspace you can just go for this one otherwise if you have a different preference suppose if you want some other effects or something else available for you like uh, li libraries like over here so you can just keep it over here so you can just customize it the way you want it so that's the best thing in premiere pro and this thing can save you a lot more time because if you have the best workspace and this workspace where it doesn't require you to change to the different panels or change to the different workspace that means that would save you a lot more time so this is how you can customize the workspace and work faster and with more efficiency in premiere pro so this is the tip for this episode so see you in the next episode where i will give you more tips and tricks to work and edit faster in premiere pro and if you have not subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing please hit the like button consider sharing this video with others and if you have not checked out the previous episode the link of that is in the description section below so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next episode till then keep shooting and unleash the creative new bye bye